Well, season's over. Uh, shouldn't be over, but it is. The Raiders lose in the wild card round to the Cincinnati Bengals. Final score, 26 to 19, one touchdown game. Raiders were nine yards away from tying it up, potentially even winning if they went for two. Um, but now it's over. Um, and, you know, you, you just have to think it's been a wild journey, but they just couldn't finish it. And, you know, I, I you know, if you, if you know me well, you know, I don't complain about refs. But um, the Bengals had a touchdown that shouldn't have counted. Uh, it was a whistle called. It was a whistle that was uh, shouldn't have been called. But by NFL rule, if a whistle is called um, in the incorrect uh, like situation, then the play is blown dead. Um, but instead, conveniently, the Bengals scored a touchdown on that play where the whistle was blown. So they gave them that touchdown, and it just goes to show, you know how many times the Raiders get screwed over in the playoffs. This remind That reminded me of the tuck rule. And that's why I'm coining this game as Whistlegate because, yeah, the refs just, they blew the whistle. That You can't do that and then give them the touchdown. It's an inherent whistle. So, yeah, I mean, in, in terms of what happened in this game, it was very frustrating at the beginning. I mean, they were, the, the Cincinnati Bengals were scoring on every single drive, uh, mostly, and the Raiders could really only get field goals. It was 10-3 at the beginning of the first quarter. And, you know, the Raiders got a lot of field goals in this game. They only scored one touchdown, and they got four field goals, um, which combined to 19 points. The Raiders did have a pretty good second quarter, and at the end of the game, they were given just under two minutes to score seven points and tie it up. And they were having a pretty good drive, going down the field and capitalizing. And suddenly, you know, they find themselves inside the 10-yard line with, you know, it's, you know, a couple downs to work with, and Carr... You know, you know. I'll, I'll say this first. I think Carr honestly didn't do as bad as I might have thought because the game is in a very cold weather situation. He usually doesn't do well in, and Carr actually did pretty good for my expectations. But the one thing I didn't like that he did was he threw to Zay Jones two times in a row on third and goal and fourth and goal at the end of the game, and it was way too predictable at that point. It was. I don't know if it's necessarily on him, but it could be the play calling just being bad. Um, because the second attempt was intercepted. Um, so that wasn't good. Josh Jacobs did good in this game, in my opinion. He had eight, 83 yards on 13 carries. Um, the leading receiver for the Raiders was Waller with 76 yards. He, he had a pretty nice game. Um, penalties in this game were terrible. The Raiders offensive line, I'm talking Alex Leatherwood is in particular. Alex Leatherwood is a horrible player. I wish we didn't draft him. He's god awful. He can't do anything right. He can't block. And when he does actually block, it's a penalty because he's doing it excessively. Uh, Joe Burrow had a pretty good game with 244 yards and two touchdowns. Oh wait, I, I you know one of those touchdowns shouldn't have counted. So he really had one touchdown in my opinion. Um, but yeah, it's it's the Raiders, so the NFL likes to screw them over. Um, and you know people complain about no calls happening, but this is literally a like a rule. This is a rule that has been written in writing. This shouldn't have counted. You know the who knows what would have happened in this game. Uh, but the Raiders just didn't seem like, you know, coming into this game, like they expected the Bengals to play as good. I mean, you know, you look at the first couple of drives, the Raiders were just not getting anything done, really. I mean, they were getting field goals. And, you know, the Bengals had a really good game from Jamar Chase. It was one of the best games of his um, pretty young career so far. So, yeah, I mean, I'm just disappointed. I'm happy we made it here. But at the end of the day, does it really matter if you make the playoffs, if you can't win a playoff game? No, it doesn't at all. And I know there are people that probably disagree with that and think, well, making the playoffs is a good achievement. Really isn't that good of an achievement if you can't win the playoff game. And I'll say this. I mean, I think the Raiders got screwed over by the refs, but I think the Raiders also made their own mistakes. Um, like, you know, Derek Carr actually, like I said, did pretty good, in my opinion. Um, he was, you know, pretty much 50 a little bit over 50% on passing, but the Raiders had dropped passes. Deshaun Jackson dropped a couple key passes. Um, and you know, th that cost them the game, but you know, at the end of the day, I'm happy that, you know, the season kind of turned out better. Like there was something to look forward to kind of the Raiders, you know, did really poorly in the midway through the season and then they picked up their act, but I'm just disappointed that we couldn't win this. Um, so that's going to do it for the Raiders season, uh, 26 to 19 Bengals. And I thought we actually had a chance. I mean, coming into this, I thought the Bengals definitely were the better team, but we had the same record as them and they did beat us earlier this year, but we do, you know, have some hope on our side because, you know, we're coming into a playoff game, winning four games in a row. 
you know, if you're the ba Bengals fan, like, congrats to you. But I think you got to remember that this game was handed to you on a silver platter uh, with that touchdown. It shouldn't have been called at all. I mean, yeah, it's it's stupid. Whistlegate. I'm, I'm calling it this game that forever because if the ref doesn't call, if the, if the ref doesn't blow that whistle, like, it's fine. But he blows the whistle, which violates an NFL rule, uh, you know, where you have to just blow the play dead. That's the, if you blow a whistle on accident, it's just, you redo the play. It's in their NFL rule book. But no, they don't care. It's just convenient to give the Bengals the touchdown in their opinions. So yeah, and you know, the Raiders, they just kicked too many field goals in this game. I mean, Carlson was great. And I think he, you know, is one of the best kickers in the league and respect to him. But, you know, we had to turn some of those touchdowns or those, those field goals into touchdowns. I mean, we, had, we would have drives where we'd make it all the way down to like the one and then stupid penalties would push us back, such as Josh Jacobs took the ball to the one, it was called back, and then there was like more shenanigans and it just went back even farther. So yeah, it sucks to say it's over. I mean, if you include this game, Ra Raiders were 10 and eight. Am I optimistic for next season? Yeah, because we made the playoffs and I think the Raiders are definitely getting better um and respect to Derek Carr I know people are talking bad about him and I have before in my experience um but I think Derek Carr deserves a lot of respect he wasn't perfect in this game he was nowhere near perfect but he made this game close um and you know I honestly sometimes like now thinking of it I kind of wish this game wasn't as close as it was because then I wouldn't be as disappointed because I mean there were t most of this game the Bengals were up by 10 points um Zay Jones had a really good game. Uh, he had the only touchdown for the Raiders, and it was a really good touchdown. But like I said, I don't think Derek Carr should have thrown to him twice in a row. One of those was intercepted, and, you know, it was it's just too predictable at that point. And Bengals win their first playoff game in, you know, 31 seasons, 32 calendar years, if you look at it that way. And it was, the game was handed to them on a silver platter. It was, it was given to them. That touchdown, I'm never going to get over that. And I don't usually complain about refs, but this is violating an NFL rule that has been there for a very long time, I can imagine. Um, but, you know, it's convenient to not have the Raiders in the, in the playoffs. I don't think the NFL is rigged, but I think they're very inconsistent with their calls and their rules. I mean, why is it that the Raiders are always screwed in the playoffs by a stupid rule, a rule being added or taken away for this matter? Uh, so yeah, that, that's going to do it. Uh, be on the lookout for the season in review video that'll come out soon. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys later and uh, go Raiders. See you guys next season with more recaps and yeah, it's disappointing. So that'll do it. Wild card loss. And uh, yeah, peace out.